Hey, hello and welcome back once again. In this video segment, I'll be using a one inch diameter flat end mill to face the part to 0.325 thick and machine around the two inch diameter boss. So let's get started. So first up, I'm gonna move into tool paths and what we're gonna be doing is using tool paths pocket. Now the chain in dialog box shows up on the lamp and I'm prompted to select pocket chain one. Now what I'm going to do is move on up and pick this line and then in hot pursuit I'm going to move on down and pick the circle as well. Now as you can see that green arrow is pointing towards the sky. Now I want to climb mill around that boss so what I'm going to do is move over to the left and click on the reverse button. There it is, beautiful. Now we're done here going to click on the OK button over in the chain in dialog box. Now here we are on the toolpath type page and we've got pocket set. Now first up going to move into tool and what we're after is a one inch diameter flat end mill. So I'm going to click on select library tool and let's see if we can find a one inch end mill. And there it is, one inch flat end mill that will do us nicely. Going to click on OK. So here we are, our one inch flat end mill, tool number two, length offset two. Just going to adjust some feeds and speeds here. So for the feed rate, going to change that to 10. And I'm also going to change the plunge rate to 10 inches as well. I'm going to activate rapid retract. And for the spindle speed, going to make that 1300. So we're looking good there. Next up, let's go check out cut parameters. Now, first order of business, before we forget, down at the very bottom, stock to leave and stock to leave on floors and walls, it's set to 50 thou. I'm going to make this both zero. So both of those zero. Next up in the top right corner, pocket type, let's open up this drop down. And what we're after is facing. Because what we want to do is machine around that circle, that boss, so everything is looking good here. Going to leave the at overlap here at 50%. Now over on the left, going to move into roughing. And for the cutting method, I'm going to select zigzag. Now just below, the step over percentage is set to 50. I'm just going to increase that to 75%. Now the step over percentage, this sets the distance between cutting passes in the X and Y axes as a percentage of the tool diameter. And changing this value automatically adjusts the step over distance. Now, what else have we got to change here? I'm going to activate display stock for constant overlap spiral. And everything, I think, looks just wonderful here. All right, let's move over to the left. I'm going to click on finishing. Now, as you can see, we've got finish activated. Number of passes is set to one. Now, the spacing is set to 10 thou. I'm going to change it to 0 0.03. Now, over on the left here, finish outer boundary is activated. And just over on the right here, what I'm going to do is activate machine finish passes only at final depth, but I'm going to deactivate machine finish passes after roughing all pockets. We don't need that. So we're looking good here. Let's go and check out the lead in, lead out. So over on the left here, going to click on lead in, lead out. As you can see, it's turned on both entry and exit. And at present, we've got the length set here at 100%. I'm going to decrease that to 75. And also for the radius, I'm going to shrink that down as well to 75%. Now, moving over into the center of the screen, I'm just going to click on the arrow here to transfer these numbers over to the exit as well. Yep, so everything looks good on lead in, lead out. Let's move into linking parameters now. So starting at the top, we got clearance set to two, it's in absolute, but I'm also going to activate use clearance only at the start and end of operation. Our retracts turned on, it's in absolute, set to 0 0.6, just beautiful. Down below, feed plane is in absolute, 0.6, perfect. 
Now, the top of the stock, it's in absolute, and it's set to 0.5, but in our previous facing operation, we faced it to 0.45. So I'm going to change that to 0.45. Perfect. And for the depth, I'm going to activate absolute, and the depth we're going to 0.325. So looks good. As you can see, everything is absolute here. Now let's move over and check out the coolant situation. And I'm going to turn that on. Looking good. Now as you can see, depth of cuts is not activated. And obviously breakthrough is not activated as well. So our work is done here. I'm going to click on the OK button. Now that completes our video. Thanks so much for watching.